ECAM is back. Well, this is a remarkable story. A valley man meets a daughter he never knew. Yeah, this is thanks to those DNA Oof. kits. This one was from 23andMe. This is an incredible story. Renee is live out there this morning to bring it to us. Good morning, what a Renee. Great story, Hi, Renee. My goodness. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, and I'm joining uh, Stephanie and Tom this morning uh, for breakfast. I'm not sure if I get to stay and eat, but um, they're doing all sorts of activities and breakfast is being one of them this morning. And these are activities that they've never participated in before because they just found out that they are father and daughter in February. I'm going to introduce you to Stephanie first. Stephanie, tell me a little bit about how this all came about. The short version is that my adopted parents got me a 23andMe kit for Christmas, so I turned that in, got my results at the end of January, and to make a long story short, through uh, a half great, a half great aunt of mine uh, connected us and said, within the span of, of an hour, it went from not really knowing anything to here's your father and we're on the phone. And, and I think a lot of people take for granted what it is like to be an adoptee and just the missing piece that maybe is always there. Tell me about that. No, that, that's an excellent way to put it, to be honest. I have an amazing adopted family. I, I mean, I, I've wanted for nothing. They've been beyond amazing to me. But just like you said, there is that little missing piece, that connection that you you just feel has been missing this whole time and you don't really know where to find it, how to fill it what it is until you make this connection and that's what this weekend's been all about and so these advances with the 23 and me with ancestry really make that possible and that missing piece is sitting right here to my left that's tom tom what on earth are you feeling when you hear and and, and did you know you had a daughter oh no i had no idea wow didn't did not know i had a daughter suddenly sitting on the couch on a saturday night i get an instant message on facebook saying hi mr cheney just went into the whole story. We're like, okay, this is interesting. Uh, why don't you give me a call? <laughs> so about 20, 30 minutes later, we're on the phone. She was actually in California with friends on vacation when she called me. So it's it's been a whirlwind. It's been crazy. And I imagine it's a whirlwind, not just for you hearing about it, but also for you, Stephanie, you're approaching a family that doesn't know you exist. What's that like? Better than I ever expected, to be honest. You know, when you reach out for these, you don't know how they're going to react or what the family knows or doesn't know or how they're going to accept you. But everybody in his life and including him have been beyond welcoming. And it's it's been incredible to connect with people that I never, ever thought I'd have. Okay, so this is February. We're talking about making this connection. Fast forward to today. I'm sure there's been a lot of conversations. But what has this weekend held for you guys? It's it just been great for us, one, to learn more about each other. And the funny part is, we forgot how similar we are in so many different aspects is the funniest part. Everything about us, our personalities, our mannerisms, it is just unbelievable how we are similar. Well, and with, this. With never connecting. This last year has been really unbelievable for so many people. Yeah. Uh, I mean, bringing a lot of people a lot of grief, a lot of sorrow. Is this a bright spot? Absolutely. It's for me it's been 34 years in the making. I've I've always wanted to have this moment. So it's been a big thing for me and for him it's been a few months of a lot of intensity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I know you guys have a lot of plans together. I don't want to just kind of gloss over the impact and and just the depth of what all of this means because finding out that you have a daughter after so long and not having any idea. There's got to be missing pieces that you've missed out on her life. I mean, do you think about those things? Oh yeah, that's what hurts me the most, to be honest. No one that I love, I missed out a lot of her childhood. So that hurts. Um, but we've talked about it and we said we'll make up for it. So, got a lot of time to make up. And you're doing a little bit of that this weekend. What, oh, yeah. what are some of these activities? Uh, basically the weekend is to have her come here and meet her family here. And, and get to know them. So that's what we've done all weekend. Um, she flew in Friday. Um, we've been each day planning things out with family, with friends of mine, people I've grown up with and have known me for the last 20 plus years. So she's got to meet a lot of them. And, and that's what this was, just sort of connect with her family. And then um, I'll be going back to where she lives in Arkansas 
and get to meet them. And it's just gonna it'll be a growing. The whole thing's gonna be just continually growing and growing and growing. Yeah. And what about you, Stephanie? I imagine that filling in some of those pieces of your life that's got to be. Um, just an unbelievable experience after everything that we've all been through over this last year. It has, uh, and I've, I've been really thankful that everybody in my life and my parents, of course, have been immensely uh, supportive of this. And so getting to know him through his family and his friends, uh, it's given me a whole new perspective on all of it and just a lot of appreciation. What's your recommendation? I mean, both of you, I'll ask both of you this question. Your recommendation for people in your position, I mean, um, you know, adoptees, uh, I think people look at the blessing that they have with a new family and maybe take for granted some of the things that are missing. And it's not a reflection of your adopted family. But what advice would you give to someone in your shoes? No, you, you put it perfectly in that uh, it's been important for me from the very beginning to make sure my parents understood that they were not not my parents anymore. Um, and I think it's really important for adoptees to understand and be able to deal with those feelings because I know it definitely was really hard growing up to have those feelings but still love my family with everything that I had and to not uh, make them feel like they did a bad job because that's not what it's about. Um, it really is something almost biological that you're missing. So if you're, if you're in this position and you have these feelings, know that those are not wrong feelings, that that's um, okay and completely normal to have. And I would encourage anybody that if they feel that missing piece, I know not every story ends up this great and I'm, I know how lucky I am, but you never know unless you take that chance. And that's the biggest reason why we wanted to share our story, to let people know that these opportunities are out there. I'm sorry, this feels semi-ridiculous considering your story. I'm going to take this off. I hope you don't mind. No. Um, Tom, for people in your position that get that reach out phone call, that message, any advice? I, all I could say is go for it. But again, that was just me. Everybody's built differently, like she mentioned. And, and we know people, that, and she's known some people that not had this type of experience when they reached out to find the biological parents. Um, I was brought up a certain way, families, everything. Um, when she contacted me, I told her, say, your family just got huge because she's got the biological family. She's got my Marine Corps family, and she also has my law enforcement family. It's fantastic. Of course, you're a retired officer, Marine Corps veteran. Thank you so much for your service, of course, on this Memorial Day. And thank you both for sharing your story with us. Of course, we wish you very well and uh, for not just the weekend that you're visiting here, but for the rest of your lives together. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank we you. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Guys, it back is such to you. an amazing story, Renee. My goodness. Wow. That was crazy. And they're able to connect so yeah. many years later. And all thanks to this 23 and me. Mm -hmm. um, that's yeah. really. You know, those, those DNA kits kind of got like a bad rap at first, but then they you did. see stories like this, and it's like, that makes it, I mean, that's just incredible Absolutely. that they were able to find each other and after yes, so many And years. Renee's right. Thank you all for your service and um, for the sacrifices your families may have made as well. On this special Monday.